Welcome back to the channel. Today's project is a DIY, do-it-yourself, homemade boom sprayer. I already had the county line tank sprayer with a wand, and it does a fine job if you're just hitting small areas, but I'm trying to keep all the privet heads knocked down that we had over here. There's none left now, but that whole fence row there, all back through here, all through there. In the past, you couldn't even see those cows anyway on the other side of the house. So it can be done. I've got about 20, I don't know, $25 in this. So right now it's just spraying out water. I want you to see the pattern we have here. It's hard to see on video, but you see how wide of a pattern we got going on. Um, I used a one inch PVC pipe just to give the hose support. That's a half inch hose, vinyl tubing, and the sprayers, I mean, so the, the nozzles, it's running out, I just put very little water in there. The, the nozzles are 87 cents a piece, they're for shrubs at Lowe's, and anyway, I just basically took the hose off of the wand and ran a, ran a clear hose down here. Let me shut this off, it's running out of Run out of water. This is a temporary setup. All right. Had to do something quick and easy. This is the uh, Boom Sprayer 1.0. Once again, I've got these nozzles here. They're for a the, what do you call it? Landscaping, uh, you know, watering system, sprinkler system for your your yard. And these are a 180 degree spray pattern. I don't want it spraying up to the top or back there in the back. So I have them so they're sprayed down at the ground. And it required an elbow fitting right here. Elbow fitting is screwed right into the back of the nozzle. And a clamp to hold all that together. All that is half inch. And down here we have a T fitting. A T fitting, yes sir. Half inch, once again, three clamps. And the same on this end down here as far as the nozzle and the elbow. Um, only thing I had to modify to make this work, this is a tractor supply. Uh, it says county line, but you know, bought it at tractor supply. Tank, tank sprayer. The original hose coming off this little manifold was three-eighths inch of a hose. And the half-inch hose was a little big. All I did was take some electrical tape, wrap it around that nipple there, and we have a nice snug fit. As you can see, we have no leaks anywhere. And I put a little bit of whatever this is, uh, insulation, foam tubing, to keep it from rubbing on this pump here. Um, strapped it to a landscape trailer that I already have. Once again, this is a temporary setup. My next setup is going to be a, uh, what you call it, um... A basket trail hitch basket I guess you would call it it goes on the back of a uh, jeeps and different things and I'm gonna put a receiver hitch on the back of the mower down here so I can install the the basket uh, basket hitch whatever it's called down here on a receiver hitch and then I will strap the sprayer directly to the basket and it would be down lower to the ground but I haven't actually sprayed any chemical yet we're just spraying water but you see it goes way over there has a good wide pattern i started to use three nozzles that'd be a little overkill i know it didn't show up on video that well how it's spraying the driveway slopes to my right right now over that direction but you can see it has a nice wide spray pattern oh thing i forgot to say i cut the one inch tubing here the pvc pipe to six feet and i figured that was wide enough considering these spray out to the sides uh these nozzles do uh, we're going to load it up with some weed killer and brush killer in just a minute and go spray some more of the, the, this privet hedge that's trying to come back. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. 